Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous session, we have successfully created the model for the products and also we have synced the products model into our database. Now we are able to see the column names, title, description, price, image, URL and created it and updated it is created by the automatically by the SQLize itself. So if you want to modify these columns, we can configure it. Now it's time for us to learn the first concept that is nothing but inserting the data into the database. How we can insert the data into the database? Let's try to see it. So in order to insert the data into the database, so now what I can say is before that one, so we need to understand the model instance. So you need to understand that the product model what we have created, it is nothing but an, it's a class. Although it's a model, it's a class. So we cannot create these instances by using the new operator directly. So this we cannot create. This one is something like internally. It is a something like class only. But if it is a class means we will be thinking that we can create an instance using the new operator. So but here we cannot create using the new operator. <clears throat> so we will be using the build method. How we can create is let's try to see it. For example for inserting a data into the database. Let's say that I am having a product. Constant sample product. Here let's assume that. So let's try to stop this server also. Yeah, now here I am having a sample product. So which is having a title. Title of sample product 1. And you can have also have a description. Description. And another one is the price. So price is nothing but you can have. 13.99 and the last one is the image URL. Image URL means so some something you are having image URL. So this is our sample product details. Now I want to insert this data into the database. That is nothing but the product database. So how can I insert this one is first of all we first of all what we can do is we need to create a object or instance for this one. So how can I create an instance constant product is equal to so product model and this product are having one and the same only right. So we can have this one as uh, capital product and here capital product. Yeah, we have used this capital product only. And if I go into this app.js, let's go into here. Yeah, we are also having the capital product. So here what I will try to do is. So now we need to do product. This is the model product dot build. We will be having a method that is nothing but a build. So this one will create an instance. And here you need, I need to pass the product object. So this is the product object. That's it. So now if I try to print something like console.log product.name, I'm able to, uh, sorry, product.title, I'm able to get the title. If I try to see, observe here, if I try to run the N npm start, so here I'm able to get the data. So here you'll be able to see sample product one. So we are able to successfully retrieve the data. If I want, I will try to run it in the command prompt also. So let's go to the command prompt. We reveal in file explorer. Let's go to here command prompt. So that it will be visible clearly for you. I am closing this one. Yeah. So now here I am starting npm start. So if I run this npm start. <coughs> so here I am able to see sample product one which is coming from the this one so what i have printed here so let's close this one also yeah so what i have printed here now when when i call this product dot build automatically this one will not be saved in the database if we try to go to here in the products if i run this one again so the product will not be created so when you run the product you when when you use the command or use the code product dot build it will not create the product in the row in the database so it will not save it in the database just it will create an instance for example if you try to see so if you want to see sample product instance instance of instance of product means this one will return true if you try to see here so this one will return so it is executing again this one will return false oh why is return false sample product sorry not sample product that one is an object right so this one so now we have created using this one right it's a product of product means it will return true so that means we have created a product model so that is nothing but product model object we have created 
now what i need to do in order to save this one in the database so what i need to do is so here i need to call product dot save okay so if i try to do product dot save if i go here so now it is executing so let's try to see so here it is executing i think it's already executed or what no starting node app dot js so let it execute so here i have saved it also not a problem why it is taking so much of time product dot build i have did it and if we go here and if we try to see let's try to see it okay i am not using anything right oh not saved also let's try to stop this one and we'll try to run it again so you'll we'll see again so it's running let it run so now when i ran again here you'll be able to see that insert into products so now an ex a command has been executed so from the logging we are able to get it and this uh, and that sqlize has prepared a prepared statement so here with the qu question mark sql injection to prevent in order to prevent the sql injection they have used the question mark now if you go here and if i try to see so whatever the data we have tried to add the object sample product sample product 13.99 image url and these two things timestamps are automatically added by the sqlize itself so now it is got saved in the database so when you when you build this one and when you save so this returns a promise actually so if it is this returns a promise so you can use the result here and you can console dot log of result and you can use the dot catch also and you can use dot result sorry here it will be having error and you can do the console dot log error console dot log of error so these three things uh, so here like this we will be doing so now what we have did what we have did we have constructed an object and we have created an uh, instance for the product model and we saved that one in the database that's it so this is how we will be saving or inserting the data into the database so there is also a shortcut method instead of implementing these all the things there is also a shortcut method so what is the shortcut method is so instead of having this build and save and all those things in two lines for saving that one into the database so you have an another method that is nothing but product okay the product model dot create so you have a method dot create and you can simply send the sample product and this returns a promise in return so if you have if you want the promise means you can do the console dot log of result and if anything error comes so you can use the dot catch of error and you can use console dot log of error that's it so this is our thing now if i try to see the output here still with uh, again we are able to insert the data and if you see i think maybe double times it has been in, uh, inserted i think so no it has not been inserted so let's try to see here so here we are able to see the output sample product one again it got inserted and this is coming from the promise when it is resolved in the dot then we are able to get this output so this is the uh, data that has been inserted and this is the previous data that is going to be inserted so now if i try to see here insert data has been done okay so this is how we will be inserting the data into the database so hope you understood about this one right so the how we can do this one inserting the data into the database so there are actually two methods for inserting the data into database first we can call we can create the build method uh, we can call the build method so that it will create an instance of the product and you can call product.save instead of that one there is a shortcut method which does the both the things internally it does the same thing only it will do the build it will call the build and also it will call the save whereas here we are trying to save the we are trying to use the create methods and we'll try to pass the object into this one so this is how we will be using the uh, model for creating the data into the database or inserting the data into the database in the next video we have an add product right we'll try to implement that one add product and we'll use this methodology to insert the data into the database hope you understood about this one creating a product and inserting into the database if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you